hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is kitty and today I will be showing you the last few uh, paintings that I have completely done um, they will be 12 by 12s let's see there's a few 12 by 12s there's um, a couple 12 by 16s and I only have one 14 by 14 so that will be all of my paintings that I will have shown you that are done. Um, so there's a total of 15. So let's just get to it. <clears throat> all right. So 12 by 12s. Number one. Um, there is a video for it. And it was a Dutch pour. And of course it's going to go not focus probably be that this was the background was um a uh, purple lake and I did magenta and I believe dioxazine purple and of course that gold that sorry it is this came out so pretty yep see there I go and they are varnished. Um, I might have one total out of everything. I might have one, one that is resin, but these are varnished. So let's see if I can bring you up. There is a video to this. I love how that gold comes out. In, in all of these it gets really soft up there but you can still see it so yeah there it is it's very pretty alright so that's number one And then number two are the is the same colors. I did three of these with the um, <laughs> with the um, geez purple lake. Gosh. So I did three, and I think this one was actually the first one that I did. I can't remember, but I think they all came out really, really pretty. I think it's soft over there. Got some gold down here. Not as much gold showed up in this one, but you can you can still see it. It's in there. There's that one. Number two. And then number three, same colors. I did three of them because I really like those colors. So here's the third one. You can see the gold down here. They're really shiny. So here's the third one. These are 12 by 12s with purple lake background, dioxazine, purple, magenta, and of course the, the gold. There we go. And there's another blue in there, but I think there's a blue. Maybe not. This came out really, really cool. I love these ones. These are so pretty. They are very purple. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they are very, very purple. And with that hint of gold, it's just... These are so pretty. I love these ones. Okay, that's number three. <coughs> Alright. 
number four, same thing, Dutch pour, only I did it with the green earth, the cad yellow, and I did gold. There is gold in here. Little hints of it on this one. <clears throat> and I believe you've already seen the videos for all of these. I think, I mean, I love all of them, of course, but let's see, you can see some gold in here, but it just blew out and came out so soft in places, and it's so pretty. And I love this color combination. Really do. It's probably one of my favorites now. But yeah, look at that center. I love that. If it'll focus. Isn't that pretty? Alright, so there is number four. Number five, same colors. This was the first one I did. And it was with uh, cerulean blue and the green earth and the gold and the yellow, the cad yellow. But this was the first one I had done. Let's see, I think it was, I think it was this way. But here's this one, Dutch pour. came out pretty I'm trying to find the gold yeah there's the gold over here but there's that one that's very cool alright that's number five And number six, same thing, same colors, only i taken out the blue. And I this is when I had just done the uh, the first one of, of this, and this one were the ones that I had done without the, without the cerulean blue. And that's when I fell in love with the combination. So here's the third one with these colors. Because I couldn't just do one or two, I had to do three. Because I really, really loved it. So, there's that one. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. There you go. That was number six. Alright, number seven does not have a video. This is one of my, I did a smaller one like this and it was on <clears throat> the sky blue background it was a smaller one which was the first one I think this was the second one this was me trying out Dutch pours and love the sky blue and I love the way this came out this is the silver because I used silver in it and I can't remember the other colors I'd have to show but It might look dark. I mean, it might look dark, but it in person you can see all of the the prettiness. So it's very, very. I love this one. I love the color and everything. So so pretty. And there's no video on this one, because I don't know why. I think maybe I was just trying it out. But, but no video, and it's very pretty. I love it. All right, that is number seven. 
number eight, I believe I've shown when I was doing a set of coasters. Because this is what I was kind of going off of again because I loved how this came out. This is, the background is Payne's Gray and I used dioxazine purple, metallic cobalt blue, and the magenta with metallic white, I think. Or maybe it was pearlescence. But this one came out awesome. Even on the sides. It's very, very pretty. So let me try to bring you up here. And I believe there's a video for this one too. I love this one. Also, <laughs> that came out really cool right there. Love this one. It's so, it's, and it doesn't look as dark as what you think it would. Because you can see all the colors. And the, the metallics. And I think I put... Um, what did I put in there? Iridescent in the pink and the purple, I think. But, yep, there's that one. I love it. It's very pretty. Alright, that is number eight. <clears throat> number nine reminds me of a tree. And same thing, I did do some tiles with these colors also. I love this one too. I love these colors too. So, so these are the same colors as what was on the the one I just showed you. Um, the magenta, dioxazine, violet, and the metallic cobalt blue. There's a Dutch pour. Turns out I'm liking a lot of color combinations, <laughs> but. This one came out really pretty also. And it just, it reminds me of a tree. Something. A tree. But yeah. There's that one. Alright. That was number nine. Number 10 is, I don't remember if I did a video on this or not, maybe, um, but it does have metallics in it, and it dried awesome. They're all varnished, and this one's just... I find it easier if I put them like this, this is, I mean, without the glare and all that, then you can really see the colors, I hope. But this one came out pretty cool, it dried just like I left it. All those little cells. That one's really pretty. Really pretty too. I love this right here. Let's see if I can. It's very pretty. And it's probably, I think it's got the same as the other ones as the magenta and the blue and the purple. Because, you know, blues and purples, always. <laughs> Alright, that's number 10. All right, number 11 is one that um, did a save with resin. So I did pour this one quite some time ago. And yes, I'm doing that because it's soft and it's resined. And it was done with 
all metallics and I really I mean there's the cobalt blue and I don't remember what the rest are maybe the metallic rose shimmer but um there's no video because this was back in the day and but I loved this one so much I mean it, it would shine but resining it just just made it so much more better it was so pretty Let's see if I can try to get it close without the camera freaking out love this one too might have Payne's gray in there too I don't know love this one but yeah this one is resined and is a 12 by 12 Pretty. So that's that one. And this is the end of the 12 by 12s, number 11. And now I will show you the uh, 12 by 16s. This was <laughs> this was the June challenge. Um, this actually wasn't the first one. This was the second one that I tried, the Kiss Pour. And after I had done the first one, I had an idea. But to me, it kind of looks like an arrow. Like a, you know. But then I blew it out and... But yeah. This was my first challenge that I had done. It was like hot and cold. But this is 12 by 16 and it is varnished. Let's see if I can get you up there. So there's that one. 12 by 16, that's number one. And number two was actually the first one that I had tried. Same thing, I did two of them. And I'm not sure if there's videos on both, I, I don't remember, but if there is, I would have already posted them. Normally, the way it's been working out is um, by the time I post the video, because I have so many built up, by the time I post the video, that painting or that set of coasters or whatever is already done. Or in the coasters, you know, regarding the coasters, they are either they've been resined and they're still curing or something. But, yeah, so that's, that's how that works. So here is this one. Lots of different colors came out of this. My first um, challenge thing that I did, Kiss Pour. That was my, this was my first Kiss Pour, I believe. And that's... That's what I came out with. So that's that one. Put it up there. Like that. So that is number two. One more 12 by 16 and it is number three. I did this one quite some time ago also back in the day when I first started. And There it goes. So this one was done also back in the day. 
and I don't remember the colors at all, but black and white and probably turquoise, I think. But this one came out really cool too. All those cells. This one is varnished. I want to get it. That's that one. It's number three of the 12 by 16s. And we are almost done. Last painting that I have to show you guys that is completely done. So this one, I believe there was a video. It's the only 14 by 14 I have. And I think it was leftover paint. Which just came out pretty awesome like I had green and when I pour it I was like oh no I lost all of my green except for these little spots here and then I'm looking on my sides and it's all on the side which is very cool like it's on all four sides so that's cool but this came out really I mean this dried just really really awesome this, this, yeah, this one came out really, really good. So let's see how close I can get you. Without it going all weird. That center. And I kept my center. Woo -hoo. How close can I go? cool some green that popped up in cells which was odd but it came out really really cool love it Isn't that cool that one's really cool my first 14 by 14 I'm glad it came out good so all right, you guys, that's it. That is literally all of the paintings that are done. And that's everything that I have done up until, well, not now because I have some over there drying and won't be varnished until next weekend. So, <clears throat> and I will try to show you guys, you know, what I've done. Um... A little sooner before it gets to I don't know what was this like a bunch before I get to this point but um so and next I will probably do coasters and tiles maybe if you guys want to still see more I do have coasters and tiles and a lot of jewelry if, if you guys are interested in seeing that those also I will do that so leave a comment let me know if you are interested in seeing a video of my done coasters and my tiles and my jewelry. Um, and if you are, then I will, I will do that. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Subscribe and share my videos and of course always leave comments, anything, suggestions, all of it. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye!